So I've decided to take the plunge into digital FPV drones lately. Um, I've been flying analog FPV drones for a while now and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. But in 2020, one of the goals I, I had was to try the digital, DJI digital FPV system and to see how that compares to analog FPV. In this short series of a few videos, you can follow along as I take the first steps into getting started with digital FPV. Um, make sure to subscribe and tag along for the ride. Here we go with episode one. In today's episode, part one of the series, we're going to go over the first steps uh, you can take to get closer to flying digital FPV. Uh, we're going to do some research, uh, order the parts, and have a quick overview of the quad I got. It's probably a good idea to do a bit of research and at least preliminary evaluate if this system is good for you uh, when dropping that amount of cash on it. I'll try to keep this part short, but I think it's important to understand what you're getting into in order to set expectations and not be unpleasantly surprised or even disappointed. So is digital FPV for you is maybe the first question you should ask yourself. Unfortunately, we're not yet at a time where digital FPV is just better and the answer to everything. There are some drawbacks to it, but you may or may not care about them. Is this your first FPV system? If not, then there is no downsides uh, to trying something new, provided you can afford it. If yes, then let's get through a few more questions to determine the right choice for you. Do you plan to fly micro quads? If the answer is yes, then you might still need to go analog. The DJI Air unit is still too heavy to be carried by most brushless whoops, and even the smaller Cadex Vista unit, which also um, is compatible with the DJI Digital FPV system, has only been fitted into drones as small as 3 inches. Are you into cinematic drones, like cine whoops? Technically, you can build such a drone with the DJI Air unit, but comes at the cost of weight. Are you also going to carry a GoPro on such a drone? Or are you going to be fine with just the DJI 1080p HD footage? Do you race FPV? As low um, as they have gotten the latency in the DJI goggles, there is still more latency than with an analog system. And if you race, that might just matter to you. I don't race, I fly parks and other open areas mostly. I already have another analog system to support my micros and toothpick class drones, um, which I really enjoy flying a lot and I'm not ready to give up. Uh, I also understand that this is the first generation of the DJI system and improvements and upgrades might be coming this way, but at the time I've decided I would just go with it. I'd love to experience the digital FPV system and see how it compares to analog and never crash in another ghost branch again. The second step would be to order the parts. There are many ways you can go about this. Um, use your preferred vendor. You can grab the DJI Digital FPV system in many places, including Amazon, Banggood, DJI site, GetFPV and others. You can buy a complete set of a pre-built drone, goggles and everything you need, or you could buy them separately. Check what's available before making your decision. Um, with the current situation worldwide, it could be that some of the shipments could probably be delayed. Um, in my case, I have opted in to get the uh, Holybroke Opus 2 HDV quad uh, without a DJI Air unit because um, it was the best option for me at the time to just get the Air unit together with the goggles and the controller separate. Uh, there are many other viable options out there, including building your own drone from scratch. Nothing wrong with that approach. I've also built my own drones in the past. However, this time I opted to get a ready quad. I also um, ordered the DJI digital FPV system with one air unit and with a transmitter, remote controller. Be aware that you don't have to use the transmitter. You can still use, for example, your Terranis radio with an FR Sky XM Plus receiver or similar or Crossfire. It's up to you. In fact, I thought I'd be doing this without getting the DJI transmitter, but I got curious to try it out as well, and it doesn't add that much more on top of the goggles and the air unit price. 
Um, I'm looking forward to getting the system, setting it up, testing it. But until then, since it's not yet here, here's what's already arrived and we can take a look at today. And that's the Holy Bro Copis 2. So the Holy Bro Copis 2 HDV is here. And um, as I mentioned, I got the version without the DJI Air unit as I'm going to get the air unit separately with the goggles and the transmitter. But in this video, I wanted us to just have a quick look and um, have an overview of the quad. It's one of the few readily available models to just plug and play a DJI air unit into. It has some 3D printed parts that are specifically intended for the DJI air unit and its antennas. And so it should make that whole job much easier. So let's take a look at the quad. The Holy Bro Copis uh, 2 arrives in this like really <laughs> quite high quality um, carry case that you could actually probably just toss into your backpack and carry the drone around, which is quite cool. Um, inside we get the drone and a few, few other items, including the props. Um, if we take a look at what we get here, in this side pouch, we get some props. These seem to be a T motor branded props. And another pack. So we got uh, two sets of props. We got some cables in order to do all the required connections. Motor nuts. And I would assume spare screws. And finally, we get parts list. So in this set, we have everything except for the actual air unit. So let's um, have a look at how Holybro has assembled the quad. Uh, the quad is also attached here to the carry case with this uh, Velcro strap, which you could just open and then you can take the quad out. The carry case actually I could really see using, which is kind of a nice, nice addition. In fact, I'm kind of curious if the quad would fit in here, even with the props on. And I would actually expect that to be the case. It, it seems to me like it would. Um, so let's take a, a quick look at the drone. As mentioned, no DJI Air unit. However, these, were, these are the 3D printed parts I was talking about that would help you to um, set up your DJI Air unit and its antennas. So these are two side channels for the, the DJI Air unit antennas. Um, we have a 3D printed TPU, yeah, TPU, it's flexible. TPU camera mount here, here. And also we have this kind of like a uh, another 3D printed part here with a with a slot for the uh, for the air unit that it's gonna kind of hold it in place, which is pretty cool actually. Um, the four-in-one ESC and flight controller are already set up for us in this particular case. They are connected with this plug in order to make the motor connections. The solder joints look pretty nice and shiny. I think they've done a pretty good job at it. They are, they seem to be using a, a micro USB uh, cable or connection here still for the flight controller. Could have been nice to just use a USB type C connection so that it would double up the same for them because the DJI Air unit comes with a USB C connector. So now you would actually need two different cables, but that's okay. We see a capacitor on the back as well. Quite a beefy one nicely uh, done placed and secured here between the battery cables and them tip in this tpu mount on the back so that's not going anywhere which is pretty good the battery lead is like a bit longer um but it's i would say that it's still on the on the not way too long side i, I would still say that it's kind of fine uh, that would allow for top mounted battery if you're not carrying a GoPro or a bottom mounted battery, I'm pretty sure I'll be carrying something. So 
um, given they've also provided the battery pad with a rubberized padding on the bottom I'll just go for the bottom mounted batteries too the frame is pretty pretty sturdy there's like obviously no no flex to it like whatsoever um, you get four separate arms so no unibody stuff here um, if you break an arm you would probably be able to replace it just fine the carbon quality looks good the motors are the T motor um, F60 Pro 3 with a 7, 1750 kV um, I think they just came out with a with a Pro 4 version of these motors as well but those will do just fine as you can tell maybe by the kv um i've opted in for the 6x 6s version of this quad and that's what i'm gonna be um, trying out in fact this is this is also my first 6s quad so not only my first digital uh, system quad but also my first 6s quad so i'm excited to see how it performs but yeah, um, I think that's more or less the parts that we could uh, really uh, go over for now up until I have the DJI um, air unit system as well with me. The flight controller seems to be the Holybro Kakure F7 flight controller. It's definitely a high quality part. Um, same with the ESC. I expect those um, components to work out pretty fine but yeah so this guy is going to be waiting here nice and patiently for the DJI air unit uh, system to finally arrive and as soon as I get that in here um, I would release my next video of the process where I think we're going to be going over how to set up the DJI air unit um, how to mount the air unit here into this quad the camera the um, antennas how to set up the system and how to go out flying so thank you for watching stay safe out there and subscribe for more fpv tips happy flying